Well, Kiwi has toilets. Where to go when you need to go in New Zealand is a quirky and light-hearted book and travel guide too that takes us on a bit of a ticky tour of New Zealand's top toilets. It's packed with great photos and facts as well as splashes of toilet humour, <laughs> which we love, and toilet euphemisms as well. Author Joe Knox joins us now to tell us all about it. Welcome, Joe. Yeah, Thank welcome. You. Um, so you... Uh, your background is not in toilets, <laughs> it's in mathematics. It is, yeah, maths education. I've been a, a teacher and involved in teacher education. Um, and yeah, I'm just doing my PhD in maths education at the moment, yeah. So where did the interest in, I mean, obviously we've all got a bit of an interest in toilets, but where did your particular interest in toilets come from? Yeah, it's kind of number ones and number twos of a different kind. <laughs> <laughs> so my husband and I and our two boys, we're big road trippers. Um, that's our favourite kind of holiday and we spent lots of time on um, New Zealand roads and I think through doing that we kind of realised God, we've got some really cool toilets in New Zealand mm. and the more we travelled the more we saw and so I kind of thought oh I need to research this a little bit more and yeah I reckon we've got the best toilets in the world. Well no and that's a great thing because you've flushed, <laughs> flushed out some <laughs> toilets um, that I didn't even know existed and no. they're amazing. They are, they certainly are hey. Should we take a look at some of them? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Let's just get into also it. Also, the fact that you've got two boys, that also indicates oh, yeah. why you have such <laughs> great toilet humour. Absolutely. I fully understand <laughs> that. Go. The boys got to go. Well, they, they like to talk about it too all the time. So what's this toilet we're looking at here, the Shell Oil one? So these ones are down in the Bill Richardson Transport Museum down in Invercargill. It's an, an amazing museum. I'm not a petrol head at all in the slightest but even I was so impressed with this wow. museum but they've really gone to town with all of their bathrooms so each one is slightly differently themed that one's at a motorcycle classic motorcycle mecca which is a partner uh, museum of the transport world it's um, very cool yeah so what do people think when you're in there with your camera taking photos <laughs> <in the toilet? laughs> so those ones there those were actually in the male toilets and so I had to kind of wait until they were empty get my boys to go in just to do a double check and so yes yeah, some of the male toilets I did go into but some I was kind of refused no you can't go in there so, so you sit on all the toilet seats though that you've um, that you put in this book the yes. ones that I was allowed to go into yes well, well that's the thing because I was in London recently and I was in a bar and they had the most amazing toilets I took a little video of it so I'm right with you on this we'll book. all be there <laughs> we'll, we'll all take a photo of the toilets at some stage okay let's head to cool. South Taranaki because I think we've got some here from Altham um, Oh no, which one's this? Yep, that's from Alpha. Yeah. That's cute. Yeah, so it's their kind of take on um, the cheese making. So what's nice about a lot of the toilets in New Zealand is that they have, they've really thought about, you know, what's <laughs> our town famous for? What do we want to celebrate? What do we want people that are driving through to know cheese. about our town? Yeah, and cheese. And there you go, there's that holy cheese just being propped up there. Um, so yeah. That's very cool. Now this one here, that's one of my personal favourites. How many people <sighs> must get their photo taken on that toilet? <laughs> so I many. reckon, hey. Yeah. And how many people tiptoe across their yeah. Where's, it, where's <laughs> this one? This is in Puzzling World in Wanaka. So they've got a couple of these kind of anamorphic type toilets. Um, and then they've also got one um, in the main foyer area of Puzzling World where you can actually sit with the Romans. Um, there's a diorama of the Romans and you can sit there on one of the old lavatoriums. Oh, like and they it, used to do. Yeah, it looks like you're actually in the picture, so it's really cleverly done. That's mm. And is that what you noticed with each of the toilets that took your fancy, that they did have a connection to the town? Yeah, a lot of them did. So a lot of them, that you know, they're not just there for functionality. So when they were kind of creating these toilets, it's like, what should we celebrate about this town? You know, what, what do we want people to know can you about? Can just, just imagine the meetings where all that went down when yeah. they're thinking about what they're going to celebrate. <laughs> uh, now this one is particularly well known, isn't it, uh, in Kawakawa, the Hundertwassen one. Yeah, that, I mean this is the one that really I think started this whole movement in New Zealand. Flash lose. Yeah, 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 so that was in 1999. Um, and, you know, you can see what these toilets have done for the little sleepy town of Kawakawa. You know, mm. it's transformed it into somewhere where people do go, even if they don't need to go. Well, no, you're right. Because <laughs> that's the first time I was in that area. It's what I wanted to do. Yeah. I wanted to stop at those famous toilets, go to the toilet, of course, mm. and also get a photo taken. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Weird and people just drive in truckloads of, of people, hey, that's, that stop through Kawakawa now because of the toilets. So it's a smart move, hey? You know, yeah. people go, OK, the councils go, let's build some cool toilets 
because then they become tourist attractions in their own right. Now the Matakana ones are pretty nice too. I they know are. these ones. Yeah. I've, I've, I've used the facilities here personally. Oh, so I've never yeah. seen them before. Yeah, very beautiful, hey. So you can imagine this is right on the roundabout in Matakana oh, as you is drive that in. Oh, toilets yeah. there? Yeah. Got yeah. Yeah. SUVs backed up generally at that roundabout. <laughs> yeah, and it's kind of just overlooking the river. So you can imagine if you've just got a, a bog standard ugly toilet block Boom, there. Touch yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, it would have really, it, it wouldn't have fitted in with the, with the whole environment. Whereas this is, you know, it just enhances what's already a beautiful little um, village. And the boutique chocolates yeah. and things. Mm. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Rotorua now, the Redwood Shroud Toilets. Oh, use those too. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> yeah, these are some of my favourite. I just think they've been done so beautifully. Um, so they've been made, obviously, to kind of resemble the tree trunks that are in the Redwoods, mm. Redwood Forest. So it just... They're just so sympathetically done, you know, they're, they're not, again, if we'd got a, just a bog standard toilet block, it would have really been an eyesore in this such a beautiful place, so. The Tongariro Crossing's pretty cool. Yeah, the Tongariro Crossing, we did a big trip, so we went um, and toured around most of New Zealand to find toilets, and it wasn't until we got back, and I was talking to somebody from the Department of, Co of uh, Conservation, and they said, oh, have you, have you seen the ones at uh, the Tongariro Crossing? It's like, no, no. So that weekend, we kind of hopped in the car and went and did the Tongariro Crossing. And your kids are going, oh, mum, no more toilets. <laughs> You're going, come on, darling, there's not much further. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, well, some of these toilets are so awesome. I'd just go in there and just have a wee surf on my phone, just, you know, just so I can experience what they like. <laughs> OK, we've got a, a little bit of time, Lisa. Let's have a quick look at um, the T-Dale outhouse. Now, this is the one that I didn't know exists. So that's <laughs> off the beaten track slightly, isn't it? It is. Around the, the yes bend. Track, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great. So this is great. So this is not actually the toilet, it's just a photo for the toilet. It is. It's a photo opportunity outside. So the whole um, design is made to look like it's an old, rusty outhouse. But inside <laughs> it's, you know, beautiful, modern um, facilities there. But I think what it does is it helps dispel that embarrassment associated yeah. with the toilet. Yeah. You know, it's something fun, it's something quirky. It's really know. cool. And this final one here is the... Tell me about this one. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do to Donald? <laughs> now, oh, I see where he is now. Yeah, right, you do. Yeah. Yeah. Now, this is one I was not allowed to get into so my husband had to take a picture yep. of this one yeah oh. but classic hey you know you can go in there and you can literally do what a lot of people would like to do there'll be a lot of americans visiting <laughs> just for that i'm sure by the sounds of things anyway thank you so much joe awesome. joe's book kiwi as toilets where to go when you need to go in new zealand is available now it's definitely one for the bog and not the coffee table <laughs>